Oh, yeah. Oh, look at those colors. All right, so a couple quick things before we get into the video. One, right off the bat, give me like a little pat on the back or a round of applause, because last night was Friday, which makes this Saturday morning, and I was up till like 1 a.m. because, you know, I don't go to bed early on Friday nights. And when you're setting an alarm and it says like, this alarm will go off in five and a half hours, like that's when you just know the next day is gonna be rough. But first alarm, sure enough, I rolled out of bed and I'm like, whoo, let's go shoot. So flexing a little bit there, but hopefully you understand. I'm so hyped I'm out here. It's awesome. And then second, I wanna know if I can join the club. It seems like everyone starts vlogs on boosted boards nowadays. I don't have one, but I've got a bike, so hopefully that's cool enough. I think I say this like every time, but oh my gosh, when you get up at like 6.30 on a weekend to go make something, it's just like the greatest feeling in the world. Nothing beats seeing this, like the frigid cold, it's like ripping through my one pair of sweatpants. But oh, I just get so hyped. <laughs> and so sorry, I forgot to introduce myself. Uh, for those of you that don't know, my name is Josh Winiarski, and I'm a photographer and filmmaker here on YouTube as well as Instagram. And today, we're gonna be testing out my Canon 80D, putting it through its paces, seeing what it can do, and yeah, it should be a good time. You guys absolutely loved the last video on the T6, so hopefully you enjoy this one as well. All right, so just arrived downtown and let's get started on this photo and video test. So for those of you who didn't see my last video, these aren't as much a review as it's just gonna be me going out, taking pictures. I'm gonna do a little video too, and I'm gonna showcase what this camera can do. Now, one thing to note is that the pictures are gonna be taken in RAW. They're not gonna be taken in JPEGs. What that means is they might look a little flat right now, but you can do more to them in post in terms of color grading, color correcting, essentially editing. So keep that in mind, but we're downtown. The sun is just rising, so I'm gonna get shooting. And yeah, let's get to it. Also, real quick, I'm gonna be shooting with an 18 to 55 millimeter lens. I might switch to a 40 millimeter or a 50 millimeter, and maybe a telephoto, but we'll see. I'll try to caption that if I can. So quick little recap, what have we learned? So right off the bat, as you can see, I took my helmet off. I realized that was a little strange walking around snapping photos, holding another camera, holding this camera, and having like a helmet on my head. Totally forgot that was there, but what else? Oh yeah, the actual photos. So right now you might be thinking a couple things. You might be thinking, wow, this guy's a terrible photographer, I'm never buying this camera. Hopefully you're not thinking that, but remember I'm just one photographer with one camera. Well actually I have multiple cameras on me now, but even if you don't like my photos, we're looking at the quality that the actual camera outputs, you know, dynamic range, sharpness, stuff like that. So even if you don't like mine, Look, look through that and look at the camera. These are sample images of the Canon 80D. These are not sample images of me. That being said, I do have an Instagram where I post my best pictures and I use this camera for those. So if you wanna check that out, shameless plug. But without further ado, let's get back to shooting. Sunrise is pretty much over. So we're gonna head back up to the market and take some pictures there. But super stoked, the lighting was incredible this morning. So hopefully you do like some of those shots, but let's get going.
So there you go, there's my little demo, if you will. Is this thing leaking? I don't know. All right, so hopefully you enjoyed that, but it's important to remember to not let these pictures influence you too much when looking at cameras. Now, I am not the best photographer in the world, but I'm gonna make a bold statement and also claim that I'm not the worst photographer in the world. But hopefully after watching this video, you can get a good idea of what kind of pictures at least you can expect to get with this camera, you know, no editing, no processing, just right out of camera. These are the types of images that you could expect to get if you were in a similar location to me. Now, vlogging, taking pictures, and filming myself all at once is extremely, extremely challenging. So if you like the video, actually let me know. It makes a difference. You know, these are tough to make, but they're super fun. My last few videos have been mostly indoors kind of low-key, just kind of sitting and talking, but it was a beautiful day, a beautiful morning, so nothing I'd rather be doing than out making a vlog-style video because I haven't done one of those in a while. I'm 90% sure this is leaking from somewhere. Oh, it's leaking from the top. I'm coated in sticky pineapple juice. Anyways, that's it for me. That's the end of the video. Hopefully you liked it. Hopefully you got something out of it. If so, be sure to drop a like and consider subscribing to the channel. Once again, my name is Josh Winiarski. Check me out on Instagram. And I'll see you all in the next one.